Hello, so slightly different video today. You have to excuse my voice. I'm, well, I'm ill. I've got man flu. But I thought I'd do a quick video based on some investigation that I've done for a friend who was looking at buying a pre-built system. They pretty much changed their mind at this uh, point. But I was quite surprised at, you know, what was available for, for pre-built. Um, I've never really uh, looked at uh, the pre-built market before and well I just wanted to kind of point some stuff out I don't know whether I've taken too much medication and I'm not seeing things properly but let me show you show you what I mean okay so this is the first one we're going to look at it's a fierce apex legend RGB gaming PC so it's got a Ryzen 3 2300 X, I believe that's a quad core processor. Now, okay, it's £389, but quad core really nowadays doesn't cut it. I mean, I would say bare minimum is quad core with eight threads. But anyway, regardless of that, uh, there's two things that I'm going to point out. Eight gigs of RAM. Eight gigs of RAM just isn't enough nowadays. And if you're going to get, you know, RAM, make sure it's at least 3200 megahertz. And you know, being eight gigs of RAM, it's going to be single channel memory. Really, you want dual channel to get the best performance. But the thing that really gets my my goat up here is this: the Nvidia GTX 1050 Ti. Why is it a GTX 1050 Ti? And I think I know why. It's because people go, "Oh, Nvidia," and it's got a Ti at the end of the name. It's rubbish. The RX 570 is. I'm going to say maybe nearly twice as fast as that card and it's roughly the same price. That card is absolutely terrible. It's always been terrible and yet people still buy it because it's Nvidia. So this is a f the first thing that I noticed and it's not really that bad to be honest but you know it kind of got me thinking how bad can these PCs get. So with that in mind let's have a look at this one. So it's the Vibox Orion 54 Gaming PC. Right, gaming, so remember that, with two free games. So we've got a 3.4 gigahertz quad-core processor. So that is, what is it, a Ryzen 3 1200. So it's not great, first-gen Ryzen, but it's okay. Uh, we've got 16 gigs of RAM, that's really good, but it's only 2400 megahertz memory that's not so good but we have got an ssd so that is good but hold it look at the graphics card it's nvidia again yes it's got nvidia but no it's a gt710 i mean who in their right mind would buy this when i first looked at it here look it goes only nine left in stock when i first saw this there was 10 so people are actually buying this 490 pounds for a gaming pc and I doubt this could do 10 frames per second at 720p on medium settings with, well, not even current games, games of, you know, a year or two ago. It's awful. So I cannot believe this is for sale. So can it get any better? Well, let's have a look at this one here. So we've got the Admi Gaming PC. So it's a Ryzen 5 3400G. Now I quite like this processor. It's uh, it's a quad core. I'm not sure if it's got eight threads, but it's a decent um, processor, and it's got Vega 11 graphics. So it's an all-in-one. It's an APU. So it's pretty good. But the problem is, is we've only got eight gigs of RAM. So the problem with that is, is we've got Windows sharing some of that eight gig, and then whatever's left over, uh, the the APU, the Vega graphics, uses that memory that's left over as video RAM. It's just not enough. You need 16 gigs of RAM. And then on top of that, it's only 2400 megahertz RAM. It needs to be 3200. 3600 ideal, but 3200 as a bare minimum. It's just going to be desperately slow. It's just not good enough. And people are going to spend £379 on this thinking it's going to be half decent. But just this memory issue alone is going to knock 20% off the performance. And then on top of that, you've got a one terabyte hard drive, which is good, but really it should be an SSD because there's not enough video memory. So it's going to have to do kind of disk swapping. 
and then it's disk swapping from a mechanical hard drive which is desperately slow it's just going to be a stuttering mess um i really wouldn't recommend this so yeah it really it's it's not looking very good and with all of these that i've looked at there's no mention of what muff board is supplied that's another issue i mean if you buy a, a ryzen the the good thing about ryzen is on an am4 platform so I've just bought uh, my first Ryzen PC and I bought an X570 motherboard, a bit of an overkill, but that's because I want to, to upgrade uh, next year to the 3950X or to the 4950X. So I want that that kind of room to, to kind of upgrade. But there's just no mention of what, it could be an A320 motherboard, the cheapest one available, just to get the box out of the door. Um, I can understand that people who buy these pre bots don't don't know what they're purchasing, but even so, I mean, at least try and sell something that's not going to be useless in a year's time, and people are going to go, "Oh, stuff this! PCs are rubbish. I'm just going to buy a Nintendo or whatever." So yeah, I'm yeah, I know I'm grumpy because I'm I'm sick, but I'm just really annoyed at, at this. It's it really is quite annoying. So. Let's have a look at the last one. So, I don't know, what, what should we look at here? There's just so many to look at. So, see, once again, look, £689. And it's a Ryzen 5 3600. That's the processor I've got. It's a brilliant processor. You can overclock all cores to 4.2, no hassle at all. The GTX 1660, really, you should be getting the 1660 Super. That's only just been released, so I can understand that. Personally, I'd probably swap that for the 590 because the 590, I think it's about the same, if not faster, but it's a damn sight cheaper than that. And then once again, 8 gigs of RAM, and it's only 3,000 megahertz. Should be 32 at least, should be 36 really, in my opinion. But for £689, it's not bad, but once again, it could be so much better. We've got a 500 watt power supply which is good you need 500 watts because if you, they'll always put cheap power supplies in these computers and if it says i've seen some that say they're 400 watts but the problem with that is is if you get close to that 400 watts i mean you really are pushing that power supply to the limit it's not like buying a 600 watt you know high-end corsair which is you know could run all day at 600 watts so it's good to see that this one's got 500 watts, but once it, we don't know what brand it is. Um, that That is the problem, really. We don't have the brand of any of this. What, what 1660 is it? Um, yeah, it's, it's all a bit, I didn't realize it was as bad as this. So, you know, once again, I don't think we can see what the motherboard is. Hold it, it says card description, 1060. And then we go up here and it's 1660. Hmm. So what is it? So you don't actually know what you're buying. I mean, this is truly terrible. But yeah, I'm just getting annoyed doing all of this. So I think I'm going to stop here because I think I've made my point. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Tell me what you think. But, um, you know, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should do my own budget build. Uh, kind of budget between six and seven hundred pounds and you know kind of put together what I would purchase if it was me so because I'm sure I could do a lot better than this just using Amazon and just picking all the bits myself because this is truly not very good it's quite an eye-opener I have to admit so I'm going to leave it there if you want me to do um, you know uh, my own build and pick the bits let me know and I'll do that um, it was just a quick video of this because I'm feeling terrible I have another video planned but I just I couldn't bring myself to do it because it, it was going to take too much energy but anyway thanks for watching and hopefully I haven't bored you to tears with this one cheers